Hi my friends, so I haven't done a DIY for a while, a skincare DIY, so I have one for you right now and this is because you asked for this particular DIY which is a whipped body butter and I think, in fact I don't think I know you're going to love it. Now all you need for this DIY is one, two, three, four, five products. I've got evening primrose oil, coconut oil, shea butter, an essential oil, and sea uh, buckthorn oil. Although that's optional. Really the only ones that you absolutely have to have for this are the shea butter, the coconut oil, and an essential oil. So the first step is I basically put two tablespoons of shea butter and two, two tablespoons of coconut oil in a glass measuring cup. You can either melt it over a bain-marie or pop it in the microwave for about 60 to 80 seconds until it melts and then you want to pour it into a bowl ready for mixing. Okay, so I've just melted the oils and uh, as you can see the, you know, shea and the coconut has all sort of melded together and um, I'm going to add now uh, the sea buckthorn oil and I'm going to add just one teaspoon of that. It looks red in this container but it actually is orange when you put it in, it goes orange. And I'm also going to add one teaspoon of evening primrose oil. Now both those oils will add so much omega-3 fatty acids to your skin, it will be beautiful. So now that, my friends, is going to go into my fridge to set. Okay, so this came out of the fridge and it was super hard, like a little bit too hard. In some ways you might want to let it soften a little bit, but I'm just using a, a spoon here just to break up the pieces a little bit here. So this is not food, my darling. This is, she, Sue, Sue thinks I'm making food, sometimes does, but I'm not. Oh my gosh, she really thinks it's her dinner. Baby, it's not your dinner. It's not even dinner time. All right, so I just want to show you the consistency now. It's really like, it's kind of, really is like whipped butter. And I'm probably going to whip it one more time, but the first, next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add my essential oil. You can add any essential oil or essential oil blend you like. I'm adding rose geranium because I think it's such a pretty scent. It's very uplifting as well. So it's lovely for a body cream. So I'm going to add in uh, about 10 to 15 drops of, um, of the essential oil. And you can do that depending on how strong you want it to be. Oh look, these blenders are very temperamental. Okay, so the final thing that I'm doing is I have this little um, mason jar and I love these little mini mason jars uh, with the seal on them. Um, because it allows me, when I'm making something like this, to make lots of little gifts if I want to. I also like making travel sizes of this. And because there's no preservative in it, smaller sizes are generally better. Like make loads of little sizes and then you can just store it in the fridge. So what I'm going to do now is I am just literally going to spoon in my beautiful, beautiful, um, whipped body cream and what you can um, see here is that the texture is still really really lovely and it smells amazing which unfortunately you can't smell but it smells really really good and that's about it and I must uh, say that before I put this in here I actually did uh, sterilize the little jar because again, when we're making natural skincare, we really want to think about how we can, you know, um, work, you know, without using uh, synthetic preservatives. So that will do there. And uh, I sterilized it just by putting it on the top shelf of uh, the dishwasher. So that is it. It's a little bit warm. It's melting a tiny bit because I just took this 
jar out of the top shelf of the dishwasher so it was still a little bit warm plus it's warm outside today uh, and that's why it's gone a little bit melty on the sides but um, once I keep it in a cool dark place or throw it in the fridge it will be perfect and here is my finished product so it's up to the brim now with all this gorgeous skin nourishing beautiful um, whipped body butter uh, with geranium scent, rose geranium scent. So I'm going to pop that in the fridge and we're good to go. Okay, that's it my friends. See how easy that was. I love popping in to do the little odd DIY, uh, skincare DIY to save money. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can get all my other videos on nutrition, movement, meditation, and everything pertaining to your wellness and a gorgeously green life. I will see you next time.